Hello my dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials once again. So students your board exams are about to start and you all must be very tensed and worried. So here I am with my video of 30 days to go before exams. Children you must be seeing many videos on this topic. Also there may be many students, also your parents, your teachers, your elders and your seniors must be advising you on how to study. Many of these techniques work with some children but some of the techniques don't work with every children. So here I am with all the scientifically proven techniques and how to practically study just 30 days before exam. Students in this video I will be teaching you how to make the 30 days timetable. It will be a customized timetable. You can change it according to your needs. I will tell you how exactly to make this timetable. Then I will give you subject wise tips how to prepare each subject because each subject requires a different type of preparation. So I'll give you a subject wise tips. I'll show you how to plan each and every day. So planning of one day and how to make use of the whole time. And then as a bonus, I'll give you a few tips to score more than 90% very easily in your exam. So let's get started. First, I'll teach you how to make a 30 days timetable. So for this purpose, let us assume that you have eight papers to give. Right? You might have less number of papers, but I assume that you have 8 subjects to study in a 30 day time. So children here in week 1, you each and every week you will study 2 subjects. Right? So suppose you are studying subject 1. So 3 days for one subject, 3 days for the next subject. Okay? So first 3 days for one subject, next 3 days for another subject. And leave this one day, okay. Here I am leaving this one day because any of these subject might require extra preparation. So I have left this one day. Similarly, third subject on here, fourth subject, leave a day, fifth subject, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So this way. 30 days are more than enough to cover 8 subjects and plus you have these 4 days of revision. Okay. Or if anything goes wrong in these days, so you have one spare day here. So this way first you will divide your 30 days into 8 subjects. Now here you will plan whether you want to do one subject in 3 days. If at all you cannot study one subject for whole 3 days. Then first you will make this timetable and allot your subjects. Yeah. So this way first thing is you will allot your subjects, your 8 subjects, your 5 subjects, whatever subjects you have here. So that you can keep on ticking and it motivates you. Now children please remember that everyone even the genius student, an average student and a student who is not able to score very good marks. So all of them have only 24 hours in a day. So it's not that someone is having more hours a day. So everyone is having same number of hours in a day. Their brain capacity is also same. Then why is it that few students get very good marks? Most of them are not able to reach there. The very reason is they utilize their time very carefully. So I'll tell you how to do that. Okay. Now morning 4 a.m. This time is very very important. This is called Brahma Murat. So 4 to 6 a.m. is very important for studying because in this in this duration, especially 4 to 5 a.m. Okay, your capacity is 5 times of learning. So this time you should get up. Every day 4 o'clock you should get up in all these 30 days. Okay, also remember. Please, please, please avoid studying late in the night because at that time you have only 20% of your brain capacity and if you study late night and get deprived of sleep, okay, then your creativity, then your retention power, everything decreases, your productivity decreases and even if you have studied everything, still you forget an exam and you are not able to reproduce the answer at that time. So my first tip is please avoid studying late night. Get up at 4 
in the morning so 4 to 6 am is the brahma murat at that time you will have to study numerical type of things right so if you are doing physics or chemistry then you should do the numerical part in the first part of the day okay now in the afternoon time you can do your theory part okay and some less important part because at that time okay you are not very energetic you feel drowsy and sleepy why because you got up at this time right so in the afternoon just learn your question answers or do the theory part right now in the night at night just before sleeping just before you go to bed what you have to study in the late evenings in late evening you will study subjects in which you need you need to memorize things like like history you need to memorize dates okay in science you have to memorize the in science you have to memorize the statement of the laws okay in maths you have to memorize the theorem statements so whatever you have to memorize you will do in the late evening just before sleeping why i am saying so because just when you are about to sleep okay at that time whatever you have learned remains in your subconscious remains in your subconscious mind for the whole of the night and it gets stored in your permanent memory so whatever dates whatever history things you want to learn whatever things you want to memorize so you memorize those things at late evening and do the practical thing early in the morning and in the afternoon you will just read the text do your question answers and do those things right so this way you will plan the whole day okay. now going towards subject wise steps first we'll take maths so children if you remember this timetable that we have we had made for all four weeks so in the first week the first three days you will allot to maths because maths needs lots and lots of practice so in the first three days you will do maths and in remaining all the days, you will spare half an hour each day for maths practice. Plus, on the very first day, you will take a big chart paper or a big A4 size sheet, whatever sheet you want. On that sheet, write all the formulas. You will write the topic name of the chapter and all the formulas of that chapter. So, all the chapters, you will write all the formulas and keep with you on the very first day. So that every day you revise that for 5 minutes and then you practice maths. This way you will not at all forget maths formulas on the day of exam. So this is how you will prepare maths. Write all the formulas and revise them every day. Practice every day maths. Children for science, your textbook is the most important book that you have. So just... Keep all your guidebooks, your reference books aside right now and just concentrate on your textbook. Read your textbook three times at least. So in this 30 days and, and it's not at all tough. It is not at all impossible to read the textbook three times. Okay. Just imagine that you have a very good novel. So you complete that novel in how many days? Maximum two or three days. So just consider your textbook as a novel and you can easily, easily read it three times just before exams. So in these 30 days, you have to read each and every chapter three times so as to make sure that each and every word you have read at least three times. So no other question can come out of your textbook. So you have read it so thoroughly and since you have told your mind, since you have read it three times, so your mind knows, your subconscious knows that it has to store these things. These are important things. So if you keep on repeating some things, okay, your mind stores it in the permanent memory. So you will remember it for a longer period of time. And, in, and science is such a subject wherein you don't have to frame an answer. The answer is there in the textbook. You just have to remember those things. Right. So unlike your English and so social studies, you don't have to frame an answer. So you don't need any reference books or guidebooks right now. Okay. Just 30 days before exam, you need to read your textbook thoroughly, thoroughly at least three times. So 
in these three days that we have allotted for science, you will read the textbook and there are many days before your exam, before your board exams, there are many days. So in those days, you can just go through your reference book, your 10 years papers, past 10 years papers, past papers and just find a list of the questions they ask. Okay. But reading the textbook is very, very important. That is the most important tip for science. Plus, just go through all the laws, all the statement, all the definitions. Write it once or twice or even thrice. Just go through the diagrams very carefully okay, and revise the textbook. That is it for science. You can score full marks in science just by revising textbook. And just if, if you have uh, learned the textbook very thoroughly, you have read it two to three times very nicely, then you can go for reference book, you can watch YouTube videos on different topics to gain extra knowledge, right? So this way you will cover science in three days. It is very, very easy to read the whole textbook in one day. Now let's go to English. Now for this subject, I am making a separate video wherein I will tell you how to attempt your English language paper, English grammar paper wherein by watching only that video you will be able to score full marks in your grammar, you will be able to write very impressive essays and letters. So there I will tell you how to frame your essays, Okay, what quotes you have to learn in that video itself I have given all the quotes all the important course that you need to learn for the exam. So just go through that video. I'll send the link uh, in the description or here at the top left hand corner. So that way you will prepare grammar. So you can just watch the video and finish off the grammar. So you in these three days just concentrate on your literature part. So just concentrate on the literature part. Read the text very thoroughly. On Zenit tutorials also, we have given maximum possible videos on all the literature chapters. So just go through their links, read your text very carefully and you are done in English. Now in your social studies exams, so SS, in SS you have to remember a lot of dates, a lot of names in geography. So you try to learn the maximum part just before sleeping and when you get up in the morning, First thing that you should do before start preparing for SS is first go through the question papers, the previous year question papers and what questions do they ask. So first before starting a chapter, if you read the questions, it will be easy for you to look in the text the answers. Okay, So there you will pay more attention and you will be able to learn the chapter very well. So before starting reading the chapter, first read the questions that are asked from this chapter, from that particular chapter right so question first and then read the text so you will search the answer so this is the best way to learn SS now for Hindi the same thing goes for Hindi like English in my next video I will be telling you how to learn Hindi grammar okay how to write impressive essays in that video itself I will give you the list of all the quotes that you need to learn there are also videos on my channel wherein I have taught, I have given proper word to word line of formal and informal letters and important words that you can put in there. So just go through that and you are done for your Hindi grammar part. Okay. So writing skills you are done. So in these three days just concentrate on Hindi literature. There are many videos, almost all the videos of Hindi literature that we have put up. Just see those videos. Once just go through the videos, remember the keywords and when you are reading the textbook, just underline those keywords. The same goes with English. In English also, you should remember the keywords very well. So in my videos also, I have given you proper keywords that you should write in your exam to get full marks because keywords are very, very important and in Hindi and English examination. So I think basically I have covered all the all the important subjects. So please remember those subject wise tips. So utilize maximum number of hours in a day. Try to get up 4 am in the morning and sleep maximum by 9.30 in the night. So you have lots and lots of hours. Don't study in long stretch. Okay. So just take a break after every 30 minutes or 1 hour or so. And when you sit for studying, don't sit 
down on the floor or don't sit on your bed because your concentration level goes down so take a table and a chair sit there with all the material that you require all your textbook your notebooks a water bottle and some dry snacks so that you don't get up when you are studying a particular topic so don't keep on taking many breaks stretch in a stretch of at least half an hour you don't have to get up so keep all the things with you all the stationery that you require the textbook you are the textbook you require so for example on the first day you are studying maths so only maths textbook should be there maths notebook should be there or maths to maths reference book should be there there should not be anything else on your table and you keep a water bottle with you so that you don't keep on getting up and going to the kitchen so this way you will use maximum of your time you will not get distracted keep your phone away for these days when you are taking a break just once or twice you can check your mobile if possible delete some of the apps that keep on distracting you so these are the 30 days wherein you have to study properly without any distraction so children even if you have not scored very well in your prelims 1 and 2 don't worry at all you have 30 days in hand go ahead go ahead with proper planning because planning of these 30 days the timetable is very very crucial make the time timetable very nicely very properly and follow that also if you remember i have made this video of 1730 to make the timetable according to this 1730 technique okay wherein you have enough time for revision also so in 30 days you will be able to complete your full syllabus just check that video it will be there on the link here and all the best for your exams do not worry at all you have enough days in hand just plan meticulously and do well if you have any queries any doubts related to any subject please feel free to write in the comment box and i'll be very happy to help you all thank you